Hello guys, the Template World here, and today I'm going to be doing the, basically the second episode of how to make your own Minecraft intro. Not animation, I was going to say intro there. If you haven't uh, looked at my animation tutorial, you should. i show you how to make uh, your own Minecraft animation from scratch. Anyway, so the last video I did on how to make your own intro got something like, I don't know, like 20,000 views or something. So I thought I might as well make another one because people were requesting it as well. And uh, if you haven't seen that one, just go on my channel. It's uh, one of the first videos I've done. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is set up the scene by clicking the render sentence button. And I'm going to do this 1280 by 720. This is true HD. For full HD, it's 1920 by 1080. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to go through every single detail like you've never actually done this before, basically. Uh, so I'm going to load in a boat. And I will put this in the description as a download for you to get. I just need to find it first. Uh, rigs, maybe vehicles, and boat. Here we go. Like so. So we've got a, a nice boat. And I'm just going to stretch this out so I can see the name. And I'm going to raise it up a bit so it's about here. You can see the wireframe grid of where it's going to be because this is going to be the water. So I'm just going to raise it to obviously just a bit above, but once it doesn't want to be too high because it will look unrealistic. So I'm like in this boat. I've got a couple of boats, but this one's probably the nicest. I didn't even know I had it until this episode here. Anyway, so once you've done that, we're going to hold in the square and click plane. We'll click this button here, which scales the button like so. You can just drag it. I'm just going to drag it up, let go, and then drag it up again because it makes it faster. And just keep on doing that until it's basically just goes on forever and then I'm going to load in a texture for water and then this I don't need to put in the description because I've already got a video if you it's one of the first ones again and it's for it's I think this is called Minecraft realistic water free and I'm gonna load both these in because I'll just see which one looks better and all you need to do is drag it from the material editor and go like that and drop it and if you want to get rid of the grid, you can go filter, grid, and just click on it once, and it'll get rid of it for you, just to make it a bit neater. But now we've got that, I'm going to give it a render. So already, it's, to be honest, looking good. The water does help a lot with most things, to be honest. But we want to make it a bit better off the light, obviously. So I'm going to hold in this button here, and click physical sky. I'm going to come to the time and location, set it to July, so it's about summer. And I'm just going to cha change the time of day. So the sun is on there. Like that. And then I'm going to come into the settings. Effect. Global illumination. Effect. Ambient occlusion. I'm going to come here and just turn both of these onto low. And then that one on weak. Because it really doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm going to come to GI mode. And click full animation. I'm going to come here. Click 24 frame rate and we also need to change it in here like so and then I come back to object because that's what I want it to be in so now if I give it a render this might take a while because some settings messed up on my computer it's normally faster than that but I don't know why it's doing this anyway so that is Jesus I love that water that's so nice but just doing that simple thing does the lighting amazingly well as you can see. So now we've got this kind of speedboat thing, we need something to happen to it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set up some text. I'm going to go to more graph, more text. I'm going to bring it up across. I'm just going to write uh, something like your text. And if you are wanting to just d download this, there will be a link in. Well, no, there won't be a link. I'll put up a video separately because I've already created this. Same thing. And I'm going to change the font. You can put anything you want, obviously. I'm just going to put it... Maybe is that... Uh, I think I'm going to use Minecraft because it's kind of fitting for Minecraft. It's the one I normally use on my videos. There we go. And then I'm just going to come here. You can also middle mouse button and it brings you to the different views. So, for instance, if I come here, I can see that that's the water level there, the black line. So I'm just going to bring it a bit in the water. 
if I come to the front, I can see that it's definitely not centered because I want that to be there. I'm just going to move it a bit along because I need the board to actually hit it. So I'll say about there. And then you just middle mouse click or you click that button to get back in. And one of the things that you notice is the shading's a bit distracting because of this physical sky. And what you can do to kind of cancel the shading out in the editor, this is the editor here, the renderer is what you'll use to actually finish a video. So to change that, you click, double click that button to turn it red. We'll get rid of it in the editor, but it will render it. So that's what we want to do now. We want to click on the physical sky, double click it, it'll get rid of it in the editor. So now we can see what's going on easier than that with all the shadows. But it will still render it, as you will see here. Like so. So it still looks nice. And I, th I don't really like that text the way it is at a minute. It's a bit thin, so you can change the depth. I'm just going to do about that. And uh, one other thing you can do is come to caps, fill a cap, fill a cap. And then we just go up a bit on that and down a bit. Uh, the same thing, up and down, because that's just the back. So now we've got this. And what I'm going to do is... For speed, I'm not. I could do different camera angles. I'll show you my actual intro that I'm putting up for download, if you want. I'll show that at the end, just so you can see what I've done. But I'm just going to do the basics of making the boat crash. So, I'm going to grab the boat as a whole. And what does this do here? Oh, it just adds. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I've never even explored my own rigs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it go from, let's say here, to maybe he's 70 and it's gonna go and hit hit the boat there I would say yeah so it's in and this might be way too fast and I'm also going to highlight them both and click on the linear which makes them be the same speed constantly throughout and I'm just gonna play it and it's probably <laughs> it's way too fast so I'm just gonna come in 90 and then scale my time up a bit and then if I play that it might be even slower so here and bam that's gonna happen right yep that's absolutely fine so the tedious bit begins because to make the actual boat crash we need to add a rigid body but we can't just add it to this because this is just a no and I'll show you what happens if I do this will happen. The whole thing will just sink. I mean, you could have that if you wanted. That's how you could create a realistic sinking effect, I would say. <laughs> but anyway, we need to come into each one of these, like so. I'm just going to grab these, and then that, 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 and then that, 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 that. And open them again. There we go, and then there we go, and then there we go. And I'll just leave them for now. I'm just going to right click, simulation tags, rigid body, and when does the board hit it? I'm going to have it happen at about 93, I'll just say. So at 92, I'm going to uncheck this, control click that button until it goes red. That will be setting the keyframe. Go one f k uh, frame ahead, click it on so it goes yellow, and then control click again. That sets another keyframe down here. So what's going to happen is that's going to go like that, and all these parts are going to fold down. And one thing I noticed uh, is that the board kind of, this is the keyframe, the final one, uh, the board stops moving. But I think since I've got that there, I'm just going to delete this keyframe here. Make sure you go to 93, click keyframe, I'm just going to delete this one, like that. I'm just going to click on this, no I can't. So I've got that there so if I play that so far we have that and obviously it's a bit poopy because that's the tiniest bit of the board ever but now I've got them done I'm just gonna close all of them down and then the even more tedious bit begins I'm just gonna click one hold shift simulation tags rigid body enabled not enabled and we just need to do this for each one of these and it does obviously get repetitive so rigid uh, there we go and there we go 
torches. I, I'm just going to just delete the torches to save a bit of time. Go, go, Jesus. See how many of them there are. Nice. Rigid body. And then I think, yeah, it's 93 that I'm doing. You can do this at any time, obviously. And then so far I've got, boom. And obviously we need the wool. Well, the wool is a big part of it. The grey wool. I'm just going to come up and close that to save some space. The grey wool. Jesus. There we go. Simulation tags. Rigid body. And to be honest, for the great effect that it gives you, it doesn't take that long. And you, I should note as well, you can do this for any object in Minecraft. For example, a skyscraper would look cool. I think I'm going to be doing that in a new animation as well. Not a new one. I'm working on one at the minute, but a one after that about the Ender Colossus. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I'm done. So now if I play it. Boom. It just causes some catastrophe really and one other thing you can do is if you don't like the how if you don't like how when it gets hit the whole boat just explodes you can do it so you come to where is it to trigger on collision which means but you can't just have it at a bit there you'd have to make the boat go all the way through like all the way you'd have to make the boat even the back go past the text otherwise it won't fall so it's a bit dodgy because the this is the only way to do it really but this kind of shows that it's Minecraft physics anyway as you can tell it's a bit laggy and the way we can fix that is I'm gonna hold shift and click on one of the rigid body tags hold shift go to the end come to cache bake and what this is gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna make it so it's always the same because at the minute it lags because it's calculating it whilst you're playing whereas c calculating the cache it just plays it, it doesn't calculate it because this is calculating it right here. So I'm just going to do it for these two because really there's no point in us doing the whole thing. So I've got this. And then obviously if I render that it's going to look really cool. Like so. Yeah. And one other thing, I've just noticed that it doesn't even actually hit that which it needs to. So we're going to just quickly fix that by going to the more text, right click, simulation tags, collide our body. So now when I play it, and that's one other thing, once you change a property, you're going to have to come into this and recalculate the cache. So it can be a bit tedious, obviously. You could just leave it and do it, but this is a good way of seeing how it really is. There we go. I'm just going to do the white wool. So I'll come and play it. And then I'll render that just, as you can see, it bounced off the text there, which gives it a good effect. And there we go. That was really quick, hopefully. I think I probably went for longer than I think. I'm going to say 10 minutes, if I guessed good. Yes, give us a thumbs up on the video. Anyway, so this has uh, been a quick tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft intro. This is the second one. And I'll show you the, uh, one of the things I've done using this effect. Well, for a start, I did the house in Birth of an Ender Colossus. If you haven't seen that animation, go on the channel. The house kind of explodes. But this is... I don't know why I called it Creeper. I just did. So this is what I've came up with for this. Camera kind of goes like that. The boat goes by. As you can see, this is a different boat I'm using. And then it just gets hit. And then you see that there. And as you can see, I can go back and forward because I've calculated the cache for everything. I'm just going to show you a quick render. There we go. In this water is really nice. I think that's the water that you get in the download that I put on YouTube. So this intro here, if you want it, I'm going to be putting this up as a separate video in a few days. I just need to get all the music sorted and all the effects for you. So anyway, thank you for watching. If this helped you out, leave a comment. If you've got any problems, leave a comment. And if you like the video, subscribe for more of these kind of videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.